watch your boy Ross back here again with another video. So, I was finally able to check out Adam Hangman Page versus Brian Danielson 2, the very first uh, AEW show on TBS. They went to TBS now uh, in the new year. Um, hopefully, I'm hoping I can check out like maybe some reactions um, on, the, on my channel here. Uh, since they are on a different network and maybe TBS is a little bit more lenient when it comes to um, their content being on YouTube, reacting to their content. I'm okay with it getting demonetized. I just don't want it to get blocked. I actually want to do some AEW reactions. So uh, we'll see how that pans out this year. Keeping my fingers crossed on that one. But I did get a chance to check out this match. And I did get a chance to check out the CM Punk and uh mjf segment after a match but i'll get to that at the end of this video just to talk about that one um but let's get into this this match was a fantastic way to start off the show on a new network start off the the very first aew show for the new year and they delivered this was fantastic we're just gonna go through some of the things that i noticed in the match i took a few notes but this was well worth the watch if you haven't seen it Go check it out. It is very enjoyable. So, one thing I did like about this, to switch it up, they didn't go with a stipulation. They kept it a regular match, but if it goes to a time limit, there were judges by ringside that would judge who they felt like won the match, and I like that. That gives it a little bit more professionalism because there are judges in, you know, most combat sports. So, to see that, I like that. We're not going to add a stipulation. It's going to be a regular match, but if... You know, it goes to a time limit. Now we'll have judges to decide who really dominated the majority of the match and who deserves to win. So I did like that. I love that Danielson is doing the jumping jack still. A callback from the first match. Kind of not taking it seriously like he did in the first match. Um, it was very slow paced as well like it was in the first match. And uh, Hangman Page was busted open early uh, with a, um, I want to say still still um still stair spot uh he ended up rushing danielson and end up gets hitting his head on the steel steps got busted open danielson really started to target that which i love and i love they kept kept him strong this is what i like what they've done with him in aew they they don't treat him like an underdog he is the guy to really bet on if you're betting against anybody he comes off as vicious brutal and he, he doesn't care. I love this. I love to see this, like, pretty much him going back to his indie days, the American Dragon. And it's cool for me to finally see that in action. I love it. Brutal. Doesn't care. He's all about winning. He'll hurt his opponent if he has to. So, I like that. Uh, Danielson started to brutalize Adam in front of the judges. Or, or actually, um, they were saying on commentary that uh, Danielson is the one who brought up the judge situation like if it's a time limit i don't want you to be spared by technicality i want the judges to decide so he's the one who brought that up so he as adam hangman page is bleeding all over the place he's beating them in front of the judges to show him hey judge you know if it does go to a time limit just let you know like i'm really doing damage right now and and i had to make a note of this uh that they're booking daniel uh, Brian Danielson uh, in a dominant fashion. I love that. That is what it, it just enhances his character. He didn't come in as this, you know, nice guy that's gonna work hard and give you the best matches. He came in like a dominant force. Like I'm, I'm here to kick your ass, and I don't care who you are. So I like that. Um, Hangman Page busted open uh, Danielson and and started doing jumping jacks himself. He, um, Danielson was trying to, you know, pretty much, you know make you know like i guess you could say use his momentum to uh pull adam hangman page into the uh the turnbuckle and they don't have round turnbuckles well not turnbuckles uh uh posts that hold the ring they have square posts so there's edges to them so he you know hangman page is pulling danielson repeatedly head first into the post or whatnot which caused him to bust open and then hangman started to get on the offense and he was mocking Danielson and I love that he's getting some offense in and it really started to change up the match I love that they add color in this match and now it wasn't just uh Adam Heyman it was Danielson he was bloodied up I was like 
this is this is how you sell the severity of this match they're doing non-stop headbutts they're literally giving it their all fantastic environment that they were setting the story that they, they were telling uh the match started to pick up after Danielson got busted open, he's not giving in. He's showing his uh, resiliency, showing his counters, being able to put him in different submission holds. We're seeing the technical paralysis of Danielson, as well as Adam Hangman Page not giving up, not submitting. I love that. Um, the fight forever chance started, uh, you know, accumulating in. They're putting on a good match, a, a really good championship match. And the one thing I can say about AEW that I, I, I do enjoy is they don't have an overabundance of, of like, pay-per-views. They only have pay-per-views every so often per year. And they have special events for, you know, their weekly show. And I like that because they're making the shows feel important. In comparison to WWE, they only make a handful of shows feel important like weekly shows but they only try to make their pay-per-views feel important here is like you want you don't want to miss something because you're getting an epic championship match that's pay-per-view quality but they're putting it on free television well i wouldn't say free television but you know what i mean like you gotta have cable but still they're putting it on television you don't have to pay extra to see it so i like that that they build they build events around their shows and it makes people want to watch their shows. They don't have to watch a pay-per-view to get entertained, to get the best matches possible. So I do like that. And I like the fact that I was I was very surprised, but I'm okay with it. They gave Adam Hangman Page the clean victory with his with his finisher, bro. And I like the fact that Brian Danielson didn't kick out. It was a one, two, three. He hit the finisher. It was over. Brian Danielson took his very first loss. And you know what? He lost to the AEW champion. And I love that. I think that was really great booking. That was fantastic. That's how you book a world champion. You don't have them like lose in a situation because of someone that's really hot in the company right now. Doing some of the best work he's done in his life. You've built up the storyline to get Adam to where he is now. So there's no need for him to drop the belt, even if it is to Brian Danielson. Granted, people wouldn't have, you know, I don't think a lot of people would have been upset, but they probably would have looked at it a little bit different because it's like, damn, they've been building this guy up for a while now just for him to lose, like, you know, relatively quick. So I like that. And it, it gives Adam Hangman Page even more credit in his title reign because he beat Brian Danielson, something that no one else could do. And I love that. And he beat him clean. He beat him clean. I love that. That was so good. I like that ending. I think the right person won. Adam Hangman Page did his job. They made him look good. They made the champion look good. He didn't kick out of his finisher. Your finishers are supposed to be something that no one really kicks out of. And he did. They did it right. Perfect booking. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It gave me a real big match feel. It was a great way to start off the show. Then uh, MJF <clears throat> was supposed to have an opponent. Uh, well, not an opponent. He was supposed to have a match. And it's funny. He was fighting someone uh, from Chicago or whatnot with a losing win-loss record. And basically, he's pretty much trying to pad his stats to be able to have an opportunity at the world uh, at the AEW uh, World Championship. And I like wins and losses matter in this company. I love it. It's great. That is, I love that. That is, it's just, it just gives it a nice, real, real fight feel. So wins and losses matter in this company. And then, of course, CM Punk comes out there, causes a disqualification, which MJF loses. He loses his first match of the new year, and they have a fantastic back and forth. Hopefully this year I will be able to check out some AEW promos and stuff like that on the channel. I'm going to give it a tester just to make sure if I can, if if TBS is not tripping, they don't block it. They just, you know, do what they do. And I don't care if they can take the money. I just want to be able to post it for you guys. So that if I can, I'll be perfect. And you know what I'm saying? Expect some more AEW content on the channel. But this was definitely a reaction worthy because the promo, their back and forth was fantastic. And I like that MJF 
I had to mention, you know what I'm saying? You got upset comparing me to uh, Roddy Piper, but Roddy Piper, main main event in a WrestleMania, you never did. And then uh, he also alluded, like, hell, if I don't get the respect I deserve around here, I may go over there and main event a WrestleMania. And CM Punk laughed. He was like, yo, you can go do what you want. You know, I just want to I just want to kick your ass. But if you want to go over there, go ahead, do what you want. You'll probably main event night four of WrestleMania. I'm like, I'm like, bro, that was so funny. Because I think WWE is really taking it too far with the two nights, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm not a big fan of that format. Not everybody's going to make the show. That's just what makes WrestleMania important. And it doesn't need to be eight hours. So I like that jab. It was fantastic. He's supposed to be fighting uh, Wardlow next week because he's they're building it. They, they don't want to give this match away so easily. They're building it so CM Punk is fighting Wardlow instead of MJF. I like that. They're building it. Fantastic on the mic, man. So, uh, yeah, this was enjoyable. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I think I like the first match a little bit better still. Their, their first encounter, I love that. It, you know, it definitely encapsulated what they were trying to tell as this being the most important thing in wrestling. And I love that. Uh, but their second match was still still pretty good. It's, it's not b better than their first match, in my opinion. But it's still a very good follow-up. And the right person won. Comment down below. Let me know which match did you guys enjoy more. Did you enjoy? Did you guys enjoy their first outing? Or there's or the their second outing. Me personally, I enjoyed their first outing, and it, it was fantastic. This one was almost just as good as their first outing, um, and the right person won. And also, do you agree with Adam Hangman Page retaining, or do you guys think Danielson should have should have won this match? But appreciate all the love and support. Road to 70K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all on the next one.